Hey guys, so South Korea has been at the forefront in terms of adopting blockchain and cryptocurrency technology. So the projects that come out from South Korea are already very exciting and especially those projects which are already doing some government tie-up. One such project is Hikon or maybe I should call it the next icon from South Korea in my opinion, right? So Hikon is a very exciting project which has done some government tie-up and the leader of Hikon, the main person who is leading the project itself is a turns out to be very influential in South Korea. So in this video today, we're going to, going to have a look at what exactly Hikon ICO is, what exactly are they trying to do, or and is this, a, is this the next icon from South Korea and things like that. Now before that, this is not a financial or investment advice, just my personal opinion. And also this is a sponsored video by Hikon, but of course I do have my rights to share my honest opinion on that so having said that let's go ahead and get into it so Hikon in fact when they launched when they started with the with with the ICO back in September they were already in the news for raising about 14.8 billion Korean won which is about 13.9 million US dollar in just about eight hours right so they were they had a very successful launch I would say and also in fact the Hikon is led by a company called Glossfer right and Glossfer had a tie-up with no one local currency so if you look at here in this news it says Korean based blockchain based company Glossfer entered into the local cryptocurrency market by signing a contract with no one go office so no one go is basically a district in South Korea, so I did this research, Noon district is a residential district of Seoul, right? So they have already done some partnerships there. And also the founder of, uh, of uh, Hikon also has, of course, a previous company which is called Gosfer that we have been talking about and uh, Glossfer exactly. And if you look at his profile, he turns out that it turns out that he is a very influential person there in South Korea, and he has been initiating a lot of dialogues with the governments and other private institutions in terms of adopting blockchain technology. So it, Hikon definitely have a very strong leadership for sure, especially when they are tying up the governments already. So of course you can find more about the CEO and CTO on the LinkedIn platform. But of course I would recommend in case you are interested in knowing learning more about Hikon, uh, I would recommend to watch this and video. This, industry, not just this for video. Not just for Hikon, but I mean even long before Hikon existed, He's been pushing the agenda forward. He's been really uh, influential figure in South Korea. Talks to government regularly, private industry, banks, universities, the ordinary citizen. I mean, anybody who will listen. I mean, this guy is truly an evangelist for the space. So one of the biggest things for us is to actually build strong communities all around the world. And we want developers. So as you can see, the, the main lead of the Hikon project is a very influential in South Korea and he has done the partnership. Now let's go ahead and find out what exactly Hikon is. So of course they have been also featured on uh, ICO drops, they have also featured, they also have their own blogs, but they also be fe featured on ICO bench, right? So if you look at the simple terms, what exactly Hikon is? So Hikon, which stands for the hyper-connected coin, is a digital asset built on top of a faster and more scalable blockchain. And this is the problem that you have today in most of the blockchain they are not scalable they have some or the other issue so it says blockchain developed by the infinity project team in Gangnam Seoul which is South Korea using a DAG which is director actually graph structure it has the capability to publish several blocks simultaneously with the ability to resolve conflicting transactions and reject double spends one thing that I found very interesting about Hikon is of course apart from the different partnerships which they have already done is their roadmap. So in their roadmap, if you see one of the, as an investor, you always want to know when will the token get listed on the exchange. And this is what I liked about Hikon. They have already mentioned that they're going to be listed in the second quarter of 2018. So Hikon listed on exchange in 2018, right? Um, and of course, then they're launching the Infinity platform in the third quarter of 2018 and they're also launching up the Infinity Decentralized Exchange on 
quarter four 2018 but before that they have some really really great use cases that they they promise here so some of the use cases are from the government organization as well as from the pri private organizations as well right so here it says the benefits of Hikon it's faster it's scalable and it's frictionless of course I'm not gonna read all of them uh, what are the use cases right so blockchain for all the infinity platform will feature or you could call it a Hikon platform or infinity call platform will feature a simple and intuitive user interface to empower anyone with the ability to create their own customized and private infinity blockchain for example in enterprise solutions built upon the infinity platform will help increase accountability enhance transparency and improve data security thus bringing value to the companies and society right so of course this has use cases for the government organization as well as for the private organizations as well um, now let's go ahead and look into the of course they have a white paper in case you want to go ahead and read that as well of course they have been featured on many of the news media they have also been featured on Crunchbase uh, this talks about basically the par different partnerships so this was the recent partnership which was Glossfer Science which is a parent company for the Hikon Science official partnership with Frankfurt School Blockchain Center right over here uh, so let's have a look at some of the other information of the ICO so they raised we have successfully raised about 48 million USD so far uh, and uh, so they are closing in a couple of days from now and of course they are also getting funding from the parent company so our parent company Glossfer Corp is happy to announce that it will make available 10 billion Korean won which is approximately 9.3 million USD in funding to ensure the long-term success of the infinity project and Hikon ecosystem and of course to participate you will need your KYC to be completed and you can also participate with uh, PTC and LTC for which you'll have to send out a mail but Ethereum you can go ahead and participate after completion of your KYC and before if you send that before then you will have to submit your KYC later on so of course if you're from China or USA you cannot participate as per the norms of the ICO what I liked about this Hikon is also the distribution and budgeting model so they have how they are going to budget the whole fund right so 4% is a reserve fund 5% is a payment reserves 10% uh, is of marketing and this is the kind of allocations you need for a successful project in the long term so in my opinion Hikon is going to be a long long term project looking at the leadership team looking at what exactly are they trying to do looking at the team support from the government as well so this is the roadmap that we have already gone through this is the rest of the team member we have already spoken about Taiwan King the, the, the very influential guy in South Korea already but there are other team members as well which have superb experience into this space uh, some of the advisors if you look at is uh, is uh, now for example Bruce Cheung he is he is uh, an established lawyer who has also worked as a senior project manager of, manager of private equity firm and COO of New York Consulting Group and similarly uh, Dr. Philip is the head of the Frankfurt School Blockchain Center so overall looks like a very strong project for me but definitely want to hear from you what do you think about Hikon do you think this is going to be the next icon from South Korea let me know your opinion in the comment box below of course if you're interested go ahead read the white paper definitely watch the the main video on the on the website I think this video is self-explanatory what, what exactly are they trying to do what their mission looks like but definitely leave your opinion in the comment box below about what you think about Hikon thank you so much for watching give this video a like subscribe and share and I'll see you next time